CJ's Honeycut Farm has a lot of secrets that need to be unraveled. What up, home fries? Home fries is? <laughs> I'm not even five seconds in and I'm already screwing this up. What up, home slices and home fries? You put them together and you get home fries. Okay, anyway. Everyone requested that I did the Honeycut Farm that CJ Faison owns. Sorry if I've said his name wrong a bajillion times. I honestly don't know anything about him. But anyway. I'm just going to preface this by saying that I watched probably a few minutes of the Honeycut Farm Part 1, World's Most Haunted Farm, Honeycut Farm. I think I started at 11.11, which was funny because that was not intended. And then I think I watched about 10 minutes of that. And then I jumped for like three minutes for the Possessed at Honeycut, the haunted possessed, I don't even know, part six of his little series there. And then I did like three minutes of part three of Worries at the House. And that is because when I was doing my channeling, I kept seeing a house. I'm like, what the fuck? They're only focusing on the one barn situation. I didn't watch them all the way through. If you don't believe me, cool. I know there's a lot of fakers out there. I don't blame you for doubting that. But, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I would love to put the clips on, like, the segments that I watched, but I don't want to get A, demonetized, and B, my video taken down. So, I don't know. I might put a few pictures up, though, anyway, of, like, the sections I froze at to just channel because I like to channel from pictures instead of videos. Instead of breaking down the video by the videos and the ones I channeled from because the information kind of went back and forth in locations I'm going to present it together. After I go through my channel results, I'm going to try to validate some of it with the dowsing rods. So stay tuned. One thing I noticed while channeling each session, there is tremendous amounts of residual energy and energetic imprints from the families and the owners that have lived in both the house and the farm, or both. There's a lot of energy going on there. Now, when you have animals, you know, they're running around, they're doing their animal thing, it can create a lot of energy output. However, I also want to state this. I also suspect that there is running water nearby I just get the vibe, I'm getting chills, I just get the vibe with the amount of energy that I'm picking up, there are multiple sources that are causing that. But so I just wanted to throw that out there. I also want to say that I am not great at like telling the difference between certain time periods. So when I give you my impressions, I don't know if it's from a certain time period, um, if it's one family versus the other family or other people who owned, it kind of came in all jumbled together. So I just want to apologize if it gets a little confusing as I go through this. All right, so the first thing I picked up was the, well, I felt burning sensation on my arm. On my right arm, like right kind of where my tattoo is. Um, now, 
when I skipped on the first video, I went right to 11.11 accidentally, and it starts t with him talking about getting scratched and him saying, like, like, what if it was just them trying to get my attention? It was like a love scratch. And I'm wondering, I don't know where he was scratched, but was he scratched on his shoulder or has he ever been scratched there or in this area? I don't know. But guys, let me know. So I'm wondering if it's just like that sensation of necessarily not being in the right spot. It's just saying that, hey, he was scratched by an entity. I might lean more towards that. But again, let me know, like, if you know where he was scratched. So Spirit wanted me to address the whole remark he made about them trying to get his attention and it being a friendly entity, but trying to get his attention through the scratch. The answer to that is no. <laughs> Benevolent entities will not scratch or injure a person in any way, ever. Not even to get your attention. They don't have to. But when you have negative entities, they will do that because the act in of itself is low in vibration. In addition to the pain and the fear it causes is also low in vibration and outputs negative energy for them to feed off of. So that's why they did that. That was to cause fear. The first thing I saw was an older man with like that cul-de-sac, cause he's older, hairline, ow, situation. His hair is like grayish on the sides with some like black hairs peeking through, but overall it's mostly like a grayish white hair situation. He's wearing, um, Oh, he's wearing red long sleeves with a denim overall outfit and black rubber boots. Now y'all could just be saying, hey, that's what they wear on farms. Okay, but that's just how I saw it. So that tells me he either owned that property or worked on it or both. I did get young females, very long hair, tied back in their like braids bun thing. Um, lightish blonde brown chestnut hair, giving Brady Bunch vibes. They look to be from the outside like that perfect farm family. Everyone did what they were supposed to be doing. There were no conflicts. However, if you worked on that farm or you know you lived in that family, you know there was some dysfunctional shit going on. I will say there was additional farmhands outside of blood relatives. I was seeing like this man, I couldn't tell the age. He looked like he could have been like in his 20s to like 30s. But I didn't see him to be that old, but he had like the dark hair. He was wearing denim jeans, short sleeve shirt, cowboy hat, and skin was on the tanner side but it's kind of like when you work outside a lot you get that farmer's tan kind of tan that's what i saw so i don't know if he was technically a farmhand or someone that was related he didn't look like the others but again who am i to say what his relationship is or was to the family there oh 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 while I was focusing on the barn, there's a lot of critters running around. Now, one would say, duh, it's a farm, it's abandoned. Yes, but I think Spirit pointed this out to me because as I was writing this down, I would say a few minutes after I wrote this part down about like the wild animals, because I was seeing cats, dogs, foxes, raccoons, possums, the spirit box said cat, dog, or dog, cat. And I was like, cool, validation. But there's a lot of things running around there because it's abandoned, really. Even though he owns it, he's not there the majority of the time. And so they can have free reign. Oh, for whatever reason, spirit pointed out termites and 
bats. Bats. Like, the animal kind. There, oh, there's a lot of animal remains on that property. Not just from, you know, the natural hunting of wild animals. No, 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 no. There's remains from animals being killed and used for, I don't know, food, I guess. Or like when they got sick. For whatever reason, there is a lot of animal remains. And I have a lot of animal guides, friends, whatever you want to call them. When I astral project, they're around. And they pointed that out to me. And they're not happy, but they're just like, what happened, happened. It is what it is, unfortunately. Oh, here's something strange. Strange, strange, strange. I did see an image of like, now this was really fast, so I couldn't tell if it was like a bull head or a goat head, but it was had the horns, it was skeletal, and its eyes glowed red. Spirit was telling me that that land was owned by Native Americans. Oh, really? I'm getting information right now, actually. Spirit is telling me that that area was inhabited by Native Americans. They did their rituals. A lot of them do rituals or did rituals to boost, like, the safety and protection of their tribe and their people and like in times of war and stuff they would do their little rituals and their little um whatever they did to create protection and that is a form or something created from that oh it didn't like okay it didn't like the death of all those animals first off it didn't like that Two, it's trying to do its job in protecting the natives still, even though they don't reside there, because the intention of creating it was to protect their land and their people and, you know, the animals and things. And even though they're not there, because it was created with that intention, it's going to keep trying to do that. And that's how you can get malevolent thought forms in this case this would be a tulpa in a way because it was created on purpose i'm wondering if any of the owners or families kept like the skulls or remains from the animals for decoration or for i don't know there's something going on with that, and it don't like that either. Disrespectful, lay it to rest. I don't like that. That makes me sad. Okay. It brought me back to the water again. I kept seeing water. I kept seeing, it almost looked like either a big creek or a big, like, river or something, like, river-like. And then I saw a big bridge with, you know, water underneath it. And then I kept seeing fish jumping out of the water, like swimming up the water. What? I don't know. I don't know the terms. All right. So it then jumps back to the females. They're wearing dresses as they work and they're milking cows. It's giving like, again, like I said, I'm bad with dates. From the dresses, I want to say it could be early 1900s. It's hard because a lot of families, you know, farmer families out in the country, even up until I would say 40s and 50s, the women still wore dresses even on the farm. But I suspect it's probably older than that. I'm, I'm going to say 1900s. But this is just the image that I'm getting with what I'm seeing right now. Oh, I started getting head pain at the base of my skull. Now, a lot of you guys pointed out that CJ did suffer a head injury. That's interesting. And so, and 
any time I think about CJ and his farms and things, I get the head pain. And so I don't know if it's always going to be related to him specifically or, like, the people that lived in the area. CJ's fear of spiders. Oh, I don't know if I stated this in the last video with CJ's other farm, but Spirit said, Spirit said, CJ's fear of spiders is going to bring them to him. And I know last time I said something about, like, because he's used to that energy, it's going to be easier for him to recognize that energy, even if the spider's far away. But while that is also true, they're also stating that CJ's fear of spiders is going to attract more spiders. Which I don't know why I'm smiling, because... I have a spider situation myself. I'm not deathly afraid. I get annoyed when they're in spaces they should not be, like, in the bathroom. And I'm trying to take a shower and one decides to say hello. And I'm just like, no. But they are attracted to that. So, CJ, work on your fear of spiders. Because if you don't, you're going to attract more. Oh, so I started seeing that dark haired guy again with the cowboy hat, using his whip, using it on animals. He likes seeing the animals afraid of him. It makes him feel strong, which is very cowardly, honestly. Freaking, that makes me mad. Okay, I can't let my anger get the best of me here. Okay, so... That is contributing to the negative energy. Then we have, oh, fractals. There are, fr okay. Imprints and fractals. <sighs> when you have imprints of anything, whether it's like a person going back and forth and doing a repetitive motion or just kind of drifting. Fractals are kind of more drifty. They're not conscious, really. They're just pieces of people left behind or their energy left behind, and they kind of just, like, drift. I got a lot of that, um, especially with the females that resided in that space. I did see an imprint of or a fractal of a little girl between the age of two to four years old and she had those like cute little ringlet curls and she was wearing a blue dress at 20 minutes and 22 seconds because that's about where I uh, stopped. Right around there, when he places the REM pod down on the ground, I kid you not, I see a grayish, it's kind of like a mid gray color cloud go from CJ to the REM pod and it starts going off and then it the battery dies so I wanted to focus on that because I was like what is that was that him trying to get it to go off and subconsciously accidentally create a poltergeist scenario like I had done a while back no why do I say that because the cloud that I saw was a dark gray and it came from him and it's giving attachy vibes. So if CJ doesn't cleanse himself and remove the negative energy and stuff, that will become an attachment. If not, it probably isn't an attachment actually now because those videos were three years old. So if he still has that property, I'm going to say he's got that as an attachment, I'm suspecting. Let me continue. All right. Again, kept seeing a creek and a river, running water. Oh, I had a visual of a cave or a cavern. And I see people descending down on harnesses and a rope. And they're going down this pit. But it's not a pit because it's like a cave or a cavern. And I just see them going down, down to investigate. So I wonder, again, guys, if you know the answer to this, let me know in the comments. Is there like a cave or a cavern on that property? 
Or do they suspect it? Because I suspect there might be. There's an older man, earthbound spirit with white hair that's patchy, but very Albert Einstein-like, very skeletal, no meat on its bones because of the lack of energy to feed off of. That is what touched the REM pod. It's what slapped Sonny to feed off of his pain and fear. It's not demonic, just desperate for energy. When it runs out of energy, it has to go somewhere else to get that energy. And I know somebody asked me, like, probably around October, what happens when an entity or a spirit runs out of energy to feed off of? Because energy cannot be created nor destroyed, right? So it's not like they're just going to fizzle out and disappear. You know what happens? They go to another location to get it because they're desperate for it. So that's what they do. And this, this earthbound spirit was doing that, but he wasn't getting enough of energy. And that's why he did something as desperate as slapping Sonny and creating all that pain for him. And it scared the bejesus out of him. This earthbound spirit does change its appearance occasionally, but very slightly, very slightly, because it takes a lot of energy to do that. But he can. He can change his appearance a little bit. And I also suspect he's the first guy I saw with the cul-de-sac hairline. I think that's one of his, like, I don't want to say forms, but kind of is. I don't know why. But around this time, I start seeing CJ Magnet fishing. I don't know if he's ever done that. I kind of want to do that myself, is go magnet fishing in the Delaware River. And, well, we all know what's in the Delaware River. But anyhow, I don't know if CJ fishes or has thought about magnet fishing. But for whatever reason, I see him doing that. And could it just be them showing me that there's a fishing area where people have fished before, perhaps. But that would make sense, too, because of the water that I kept seeing. The Honeycut house, alleged house, whatever. So, I got that there was an affair. And when I say affair, it's more like an unaccepted relationship. I don't know if it was, like, the wife cheating or... Maybe it was the daughter being with somebody that technically the parents didn't want her to be with or something like that. I just kept getting images of that. Then my shoulders started to burn again. I saw a dark haired female with a black eye. House is dense with negative energy. It's giving me a headache and my cheeks hurt. I suspect domestic abuse or domestic violence um of course the part where i had skipped to in this video was where they find the um machete scythe knife thing that was in the attic and so i was like what was that used for and why is it in an attic that's suspicious that's weird and my guide said that they used it for the plant overgrowth but more than that, they used it for threatening and deterrence. So, like, if you didn't do what the man of the house wanted, instead of grabbing his belt like, you know, they did in the old days and threaten you with the whoosh, he grabbed the scythe thing and use that instead, not a great look. And they also used it for protection. Oh, then after that, my guides showed me two men in a barn. That's when it gets back to the barn and not the house. And one shooting the other. I don't know over what at this point. So I keep, you know, asking like, why did that happen? And then I saw graves, unmarked or marked. Maybe there are graves on the property that they are aware of or not aware of. 
but there's some graves on the property. Animals were murdered. <laughs> that makes me so sad. It's giving the old yeller vibe. Like the dog was sick. So then to put it out of its misery, they had to, whoosh, well, you know. And then I saw a cat getting murdered and a fox. Fox was in the coop. I do see a young teenager, female, about 15 to 19 years old, who wanted to leave. She was abused too, allegedly, allegedly. And I see her walking down like the dirt road. Like, she's running away. She's like, F, F this, I'm out. Peace. I did pick up that every single person in that household had their own attachment. And then we are brought back to the barn. And there's another dispute. But this time it's about stealing. I don't know if it's money or supplies. I don't know. Someone stole something. They were pissed. So, I'm seeing two disputes overall. One shot dead. That I know for a fact. Or, I shouldn't say for a fact, because this is psychic impressions. But, I was like, okay. What was the first one? That had to do with the, fa the affair. So, one was murdered for stealing and one was murdered for having an affair with somebody in the household. That should not have happened and again I don't know the relation like who did what if that makes sense did they find any bodies did they find all of the bodies and they probably buried them is there woods nearby that farm the honeycup farm I believe there are some remains out there I also believe there are some remains in like the backyard I want to say the backyard Something in the backyard. What's in the backyard? Buried. Something's going on in the backyard. That's not even in my notes. This is channeling real time now. There is a pine tree. Is it a pine tree? It looks like a... I don't know. It almost looks like a pine tree, but it's not a pine tree. It has like that overall shape, but it's not piney. I don't know. There's something going on with that tree. That's on closer to the backyard. I'm seeing a boat now. What the fuck? Is there a boat in the backyard? Was there a boat in the backyard? Like, I don't know. I'm getting hungry for chicken. Fake chicken because I'm, you know, I'm allergic to real chicken. But, you know, it would be fun if I could get spirit to validate some of this stuff live with, well, you know what I mean. So, I have dowsing rods. They're your average stereotypical dowsing rods they have this piece so i cannot swivel this so you know i'm not you know faking but so i just wanted to show you those before i start um my guidelines will be this way is yes this way is no this is the first time i've used these so here we go. All right, spirit. Was there two murders on the Honeycut farm, either on the house premises or the farm itself, which includes the barn? So, let's see. I see that, right? Okay. Mickey's also on, by the way. All right, I'm going to repeat that question and make sure I can hold these, like, perfectly level for the camera. But, yes, same question. Okay. Okay. Was one of the people who were murdered shot? Well, that was fast. Okay. 
one of the people fed to animals. Wait, come on, set yourself up. Okay. Got it. Ah, this is hard. Not fed to animals. Okay. Were they buried in unmasked graves? Was one buried in an unmasked grave? Okay. Was the other guy thrown in a river? I'm going to take that as a no. Was the other guy taken away by another person? Are you crossing or are you not crossing? Ah! Okay, so the second guy was taken away by another person. All right. Was there a relationship that was deemed a, a unacceptable. Okay. Thank you. Was there abuse? Did the one daughter want to run away? Okay. Was the scythe that was found in the attic used to murder somebody? Oh, no. Um, was the scythe that was found in the attic used to murder a family member? I'm going to take that as a no. Was the scythe that was found in the attic used to kill someone outside of the family? That's a yes to me. Okay. Was that person that was killed with the scythe that was outside of the family a man? Okay. So, you guys, there you have it. Uh, the dowsing rods kind of confirmed some things. What do you guys think? Do you think this, you know, did they find any answers? Do we know? Is, are there any public records? I'm curious. So oh guys, thank you so much for sticking around. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and peace out.